Hello and welcome everybody to my first video tutorial in English language here for FreeCAD. The topic of today is modeling for product design, which is a tutorial found here in the FreeCADweb.org wiki. We are modeling a well-known piece of Lego toy. You can see the Lego piece that we are going to create. I will execute every step exactly like it's done here in the tutorial. We start with version 0.19. We start making a new file that's currently unnamed. So I'm gonna save it first. I'm gonna go here to save the active document to my desktop as um, demo underline Lego. Oh, Lego. So, okay. The first thing we have to do is to create a new body in our file, which we can do in two different ways. We can uh, do it with the task command here, uh, create body, or we can choose here, create a new body and make it active from the file menu. So that's the way I'm going to go. We have here the new body and can create a new sketch under the new body. The program wants to know where the new sketch should be created, which is the x y plane here in the document i'm gonna select it say okay and here we go in the sketcher doing a new um, sketch so the first thing we need to do is to draw a rectangle which we can do on this command here we click twice the first for the bottom left point and the second click for the upper right point now we um have to define the dimensions of this rectangle. We can take this command here, horizontal distance between these two points here, which is 47.7 millimeters. And the vertical distance between these two points should be 23.7 millimeters. Okay, now we can move our rectangle on our drawing board, which is okay but it can be done a little bit better by defining the exact placement of our sketch within the sketching field so we're gonna select these two points here the corner point of our rectangle and the origin point here and use this command create a coincident constraint which means it glues this point onto our origin point now we can close it and uh, it's a two dimensional sketch at the moment, which we should um, select here and use the pad command to make it 14.4 millimeters high and have a block with the dimensions that we just um, defined. Okay, so we, next thing is we want to make a hole in our block here. So we select the bottom plane here, go here to the create a new sketch command, draw another rectangle. Um, this point can be defined by using the origin point here. That's good. So we can use the horizontal dimension and define it 1.8 millimeter away from this corner point and in vertical distance we can do the exact same stuff 1.8 millimeters now we have a problem because we cannot reference to this point here because this point here is not part of our active sketch so the next thing we need to do is somehow we need to make this um this corner to be a part of our current sketch therefore we can use this command create an edge linked to an external geometry. So we select this one and select this edge. And now all of a sudden this edge is part of our sketch. That's very nice because now we can reference to this corner point here and also define 1.8 millimeters away from this corner point and in vertical distance, the exact same. And as you can see, the sketch turns green, which means the sketch is fully constrained so we can leave the sketch going to close and we need to make a hole in the sketch doing this with the pocket command here selecting 12.6 millimeters as the depth of our sketch of our hole 
yeah and we're good to go now we're missing two features that's the little knobs on the top of our lego piece and the three little cylinders inside of our lego piece so we're gonna start with the top we can select isometric view and fit the content to the screen again so we're gonna select the upper plane here create a new sketch we want to draw two circles that we transform into two pads which we are then going to pattern with a pattern command so we only need two circles here the bottom circle can be defined again using the horizontal and vertical commands um, six millimeters horizontally six millimeters vertically and we're good to go we need the radius of this circle which is gonna be 3.6 millimeters same with this circle 3.6 now we have the same problem as before we cannot reference this corner here so we need to use this command again create a linked edge we link this edge in our document make a horizontal um, distance of six millimeters and a vertical distance of six millimeters as well sketch turns green as i told you it's fully constrained we can leave it and then we can pad it 2.7 mil and we're good to go the next thing we have to make a pattern and using a linear pattern is this command here create a linear pattern feature we select the pad here create the linear pattern now we have to say the distance of uh, our whole pattern the length um, we have an error here one transformed shape does not intersect support what does this mean the support is our active body here and the transformation the program wants to make the transformation here where you see the two um, red shapes so this is not going to work because in part design you must not add features that are not um, in contact with the rest of your geometry so this is not allowed so we have to scale it down here to 36 millimeters and all of a sudden you will see the error is gone only thing is we are missing two lines of it so we're gonna increase the occurrences here to four which makes eight perfect cylinders on top of our Lego piece okay let's go to okay and let's go to the bottom of our geometry where we have to add another three cylinders we're gonna select this face again create a new sketch and we need to link it to this corner point here which at the moment is not possible to select so we link it again and then we start doing our circle go for the radius which is 4.89 millimeters specify the horizontal distance here at a 10.2 millimeters and the vertical distance as well as 10.2 okay so um the wiki tells you to extrude this using the pad command and after that creating a hole you know I'm not a big fan of this because I think we can achieve the exact same while we do another circle inside of it here and go for 3.6 millimeters therefore we are gonna create a hollow cylinder you will see in a few seconds when I go for the pad command 12.6 millimeters we have the hollow cylinder here and we do not need to make a full cylinder and afterwards uh, create the hole inside the cylinder that's not so good so okay i'm gonna use pad number two make the linear pattern again this direction you see the exact same error that we had before because this here is too big we need three occurrences and we're done 
Perfect. Okay. One thing, we can change the appearance of our Lego piece here. Go for right click. Um, appearance, shape, color, and give it a nice red or whatever color. And yeah, what I'm doing before I leave my file is I'm going here for the isometric view and then I zoom in, save. Okay, that's it. I hope you learned something. Goodbye.